going to be proving the tangent secant theorem here. I'm going to walk you through what the theorem is, first of all, because students always make a mistake on it. So be really careful. The theorem says that if we take this length, AB, and we take that length and we square it, okay, so that length there, it's going to be equal to, and this is where students stuff up, this length here, length AC, times this length here. Here, AD. Okay, really important because a lot of students are going to make the mistake and say this squared is equal to this times this, but it's not. It's the thing outside times this long thing here. Now, before I get started, it's called the tangent secant theorem because this is a tangent and that is what's called a secant. It's a chord that extends out of a circle. Okay, we're going to prove it using similar triangles again. So I'm going to start by constructing a triangle. My bad, two triangles. All right, so the two triangles that I want you to keep in your head are triangle C, A, B. So this one here, most of which is outside of the circle. And the other triangle we're going to talk about is A, D, B, the big one. All right, and we're going to prove that this is similar to that. Well, how can we do it? Well, this triangle here and this triangle in here have this angle in common. That's a good start. Now you should remember your alternate segment theorem, which will tell us that this angle here is equal to, and I need to be really careful here, this angle here. And that's, we're done, we're done, we're done. Because this here, this angle, this angle, this is gonna be my third angle here, it's gonna be 180 minus that and that. And then when I look at the big one, we've got a, a single line, a double line, and that means that our triple line, where is it going to be? It's going to be here. And our triple line on this one is going to be here. So it's really hard to see because our triangles are kind of overlapping, right? Okay, and when we draw in what our triangles are, we need to make sure that we're drawing them correctly. So triangle, I'll draw it up here, A, C, B, like that, now A has a single dash, B has a double dash, and C has a triple dash, and now I need to draw A, D, B, alright, so I'm going to draw A there, and then I just need to be careful, which one has the triple dash in the big one, B, alright, so I put B there, and then which one has the double dash, well, whatever's left over, D, And now these triangles we can see are similar. Now, if they're similar, that means that we're going to get some ratios going on here, right? Uh, all right, so let's see. The ratio of AB, so we'll, I'll just call that X for a second. The ratio of X to AD, so AB over AD, is going to be equal to the ratio of AC, I guess I call that Y for a second, AC to AB. And you can see what happens here. I rearrange that. I don't know why it's called X, Y, but I rearrange that. I'll get AB times AB, which is AB squared, and I'll get AC times AD. All right, that's proven. Uh, let's make sure that we formalize it. So my first step was constructing lines BD and BC. The next thing I did was start looking for uh, equal angles. So I found one here, DAB is and uh, CAB are the same because they're common. So once we did that, we used our sneaky alternate uh, segment theorem to say that this angle here, ADB, was equal to this angle here, CBA. After we've got two angles in common, we're going to have our third angle because angles add up to 180 degrees of a triangle. And with three angles in common, we can say that the triangles are similar because of the angle, angle, angle rule. Now, be careful here. You've got to make sure that you do your sides in the right order. A, B, C, A, D, B, A, B, C, A, D, B. And you've got to make sure that you say that they are similar, not equal. Okay, from there, we finish off, and this is a good next step. That over that equals that over that. And then we rearrange to say that, and we are Alright, really neat, similar triangles again, proving the tangent secant.